Stocks on Wall Street dropping sharply Friday afternoon on this last trading day of January. Are stocks still overvalued? Well, let's ask Jeffrey Schulze of Clearbridge Investments. Welcome back, Jeffrey. Great uh, to be back. Stocks selling off today, but not GameStop or AMC, which are both up more than 50%. Is it that short squeeze that's uh, dampening investor sentiment today, or is it the concern about J&J's uh, data on vaccines? I think it's a combination of both. Obviously, the J&J data disappointed to the downside, um, and you're seeing a bit of a short squeeze, probably being shaken out of some of your more traditional positions in the, the stock market, uh, but a bit of a bleed through that we saw from Wednesday earlier this week. But I also think investors are focusing on some of the weaker economic data that we've seen over the course of January. Retail sales came in for the negative print for three months in a row, which was the poster child of the V-shaped recovery that we saw last year. But also, jobless claims remain stubbornly high. You had a pretty negative December jobs report as well. So I think it's a combination of some stress because of the short squeeze that we're seeing, the j, &J vaccination hopes, maybe bringing normalization, uh, pushing it out a couple of quarters. Uh, but also, I, I think some profit taking after a pretty robust move that we've seen from the, the, the March lows last year. And consumer spending fell for a second straight month. We got that data today. But um, volatility has been particularly uh, high this week. Um, uh, S&P 500 is now down about 3.8% since Monday. Um, do you sense the market is topping? Are we possibly already in, in what may be the start of a correction? I think it is. Uh, you know, we thought that positioning was pretty stretched as we came into January. Optimism was off the charts. Put call ratios were at levels last seen uh, in 20 years ago. You also had record margin positioning. Um, there was a lot of optimism in all of the investor sentiment surveys. So I, I think the market was due for a bit of a breather, a little bit of a consolidation. But we firmly believe that this is a buying opportunity to take advantage of a supercharged U.S. economy that we're expecting to see in 2021, but also bleeding through to 2022 as well. Do you see this as a minor pullback or a, or a correction that is more than 10 percent? I don't think it's more than a 10% correction. Um, I think these are relatively known issues with the market. Um, for a 10% plus correction, I think you really need to see a, the variants uh, hit the US. You need to see an explosion of cases, hospitalizations, and deaths, which are all trending in the right direction post that the, the post-holiday burst that we saw, or, or a mutation uh, be um, resilient to the vaccines at this point. But uh, again, I think it's gonna be a minor correction somewhere in this five to 10% range. All right, so um, you're saying that uh, um, from what you're seeing, you should be buying into the dips, which means that, hey, the long term looks rosy or looks good. Then why are you reintroducing your recession risk um, monitor or dashboard at your firm instead of just looking at the recovery? It all comes down to all of the slowing economic data that we, we've seen and we talked about before. Um, there is a concern that we are going to have a double dip recession because of economic retrenchment and social distancing. Um, but if you look at the recession dashboard, it's still flashing a very strong expansion color with seven green, three yellow and two red signals. And the one data point within the dashboard that gives me the confidence to say that this is just a slowdown rather than a double dip recession is manufacturing PMI new orders. Um, that's synonymous with the business cycle. It moves up and down with economic activity. And with a 50 level being neither expansionary or contraction, the print that we got for December was 67.9, which is a very, very bullish number. It's bullish for capital spending trends, and it's bullish for the U.S. economy as we move through the first quarter. All right. So you're still looking up. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Thank you. Our thanks to Jeffrey Schulze of Clearbridge Investments. I'm Fred Katayama in New York. This is Reuters. Have a wonderful weekend.